Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Sadek Rahman here. I hope things are going absolutely well for you. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to deal with your demons on the path to your purpose. So the question is, are you ready? back guys I'm glad you've tuned in with me I know I know how tough life can be I've been through so many obstacles so many challenges so many adversities and you want to go and progress in your life but every time you try to there's always something that stops you there's something in your mind where you're having to deal with it and sometimes it can be overwhelming and that is called your demons your ego or whatever word that you have there's always something telling you in that voice telling you that you can't do something or you don't feel you can do something. There's always some sort of impediment getting in the way. I don't know how tough it can be, you know, having been on this journey for quite a while now, I'd say about seven, seven to eight years, I've faced so many different obstacles and it's always the way I look at things has basically stopped me from doing what I want to do or it's challenged me. It's really challenged me to do what I want to do or take the action that I want to take because it can be so overpowering. That voice is just so uh, crippling, if you like, mentally crippling, emotionally crippling, that you just feel like whatever this voice tells you, it means that you can't do it. And, if, and it almost feels like what you say to yourself in your head is your reality. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips, which I hope and I pray is gonna help you on this journey. Number one is motivation. Trying to do things that you really wanna do, but you don't feel like doing them. You don't feel like doing them because there's something that's cropped up. I'll give you an example. So I try, I went to the gym, but I really did not want to go to the gym. I had something going on on that day. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it put me in a really foul mood. I was like, I really, I can't motivate myself to work out. I really can't. But some way, somehow deep within me, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I was sat in the parking space, basically in two minds of whether I should go to the gym, or whether I shouldn't. But I felt, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. It may not necessarily the, be the best workout. And mind you, that day that I went to the gym was leg day. And oh my God, having a bad day on leg day, I, I couldn't have asked for any other day. I wish it could have been on any other day, but it happened to be on leg day. So I went to the gym did my workout and man, it was a tough workout. I had squats to do. Imagine when you're going through a lot of, you know, crap, you know, in your head and you're trying to do squats and you're trying to focus on doing squats, but then you've got a lot of background noise or a lot of talk, if you like, a lot of negative talk, a lot of self-talk going on and you're bothered by it and you can't really focus, you can't really do your best. Well, that's exactly what happened. I couldn't, I wasn't at my best. I didn't have the best leg workout, but I tell you what happened was I did a workout. Even though I felt like crap, I still did it. I still did it. And this is what I say to you is this, is that you may not necessarily have the best of time. You may not necessarily be in the best of minds to do what you want to do. And I get it. We're human. I'm human. We have those days. We have those times. Even if you do not feel like doing it, even if you do not feel motivated, just do something. Just do something anything it will make you feel better because you knew that even though you had a lot of stuff that was going on you did something and it doesn't and it doesn't have to be anything big it can be something small and you'll feel so much more better than than you were before and this is where you need to really notice exactly what's going on in your mind notice this talk that's going on and do something that will move you in the right direction number two is be present with yourself. You see, there's gonna be certain times where you don't, again, it goes with the thing, the, set, the first point that I mentioned, where there's a lot of turmoil, a lot of emotional turmoil, especially in this day and age, especially in the days of the pandemic, where you're getting a lot of strong negative emotions that's going on right now. And you just feel like, oh my God, I really wanna get on with my purpose. I really wanna do things that I'm passionate about, but, I, these feelings, they just keep getting in the way. And you can keep fighting and fighting, but it doesn't help. Let me give you an ex another example. 
So last week, or even two, three weeks ago, I had really strong negative emotion. Now, normally when you feel a certain negative emotion, usually what happens is because something's happened. You may have had an argument with the other half or something might have happened at work or something might have happened, right? And you get, you feel feeling negative. But there was no issues, no reason, no cause. And I was feeling this strong negative emotion. So I tried to find it, tried to fight it, but it didn't work. I kept coming back to it and it was still there. So do you know what I did? I basically just observed what was going on. I observed what was going on. I just sat down, closed my eyes, breathed. I noticed exactly where this strong emotion was coming from. Was it in my arms? Was it in my face? Was it in my chest? Where was it? And then I'd focus on that particular body part and say to myself kind words like, you know, this will be ill, everything will be okay, you can do this, it, this is only temporary, and all these sorts of kind words that you can say to yourself. And you know what? The feeling of those negative emotions dissipated. So when it came to my arms, I noticed it, went from there, then it came to my, my mind, noticed it, focused on it, was present with it, and those feelings just, it really gradually dissipated. And then I went out into nature, I prayed, Whilst I was in nature, of course, I found a private spot so people didn't see I was praying. Um, but I did that. And again, you don't have to necessarily say it outright. You can just say it in your mind. But that really helped. So just be present with your feelings. It's something that I'm not necessarily an expert on. It's still work in progress for me. But it's working. It's working. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. Number three is to be connected to people. Now, it's quite hard, it can be quite tough to be more connected to call people every single day. But this is what I've been doing. I've been calling some of my friends and just calling them even if it was two, three minutes. And it just helps to unload a lot of the stuff, a lot of the baggage that's going on in your head. And when you're venting, it just is half the battle kind of won. And then you're more aware of what's going on inside of your head. And it was work for me and I hope it works for you. Now, here's what I say to you. You may not necessarily get hold of the person that you want to speak to. That's fine. Why not just leave a voicemail message? Why not just send them a video? Why not just do a WhatsApp voicemail message? It helps again to be able to project exactly how you're feeling and it will help so see how that works number for you. four is to pray i mention this time and time again and you may have different religious belief or you may not even have a religious belief but i can tell you you do the research yourself praying helps you to alleviate a lot of that negative emotions that you're going through you get to talk and you get to have a conversation and it's very powerful and it can change the way you think and you feel put you in a more calm and relaxed state so that's it for today and I hope these video, these tips help you to really, you know, deal with these demons that we have within us and not let that be a obstacle in you pursuing your path, your purpose. So please subscribe to this video, video please like my video, please share my, please share my video to whoever who you feel might need the help. And until then, my friend, all my love to you. Take care. Bye.